Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Stellantis is reporting progress and talks with the United Auto Workers Union with just three days left before contracts expire with Detroit's three automakers. The automaker told employees in an email the union made a counteroffer to its economic proposal on Sunday. Stellantis released no details of its offer, but says both sides have reached agreement in a number of areas, including health and safety. UAW President Sean Fain on Friday called counter offers from Stellantis, General Motors and Ford inadequate. He warned of strikes against any company without a tentative contract agreement when the contracts expire at 11.59 p.m. on Thursday. Well, Mel Tucker is suspended without pay as a Title IX investigation against him continues. The move comes less than 24 hours after allegations went public that he sexually harassed a sexual violence activist and rape survivor during a phone call last year. The report went public just hours after MSU celebrated its victory over Richmond. A formal hearing will happen the week of October 5th. Longtime assistant and current defensive backs coach Harlan Barnett is now the interim head coach of MSU following Tucker's suspension. It was also announced that Mark D'Antonio will return to the team as an associate head coach. Well, this week, be sure to stop by the Saginaw Farmers Market at SBRC Marketplace starting today, the annual Harvest Days, honoring Hispanic Heritage Month. There will be live entertainment, giveaways, cooking contests, fundraisers, and so much more. The fun continues Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday and runs from 4 p.m. until 8 p.m. tonight. Now here's Diane with a look at your forecast. If you are going to be out and about around the town, you are going to be working with your rain gear in hand. So that umbrella, keep that in mind and keep it around because rain chances are going to be here for the rest of your Monday. It was nice a few peaks of sun that we had early on, but the clouds have thickened and the rain has moved into mid Michigan and it is going to be scattered showers that we work with even through dinner time and overnight. Now thunderstorms are not expected severe weather then not going to be much of a concern at all for us. But but overnight, the bulk of the rain actually pushes eastward. So that's going to be kind of the majority of the rain because come Tuesday, you'll still see some scattered showers, but the coverage not so wide here in mid Michigan. As we go into Wednesday, we're still going to keep some lingering moisture into play, but we will start to dry out that forecast for some bright and sunny days later this week. Though we are talking for rain Monday, Tuesday, and even portions of your Wednesday, the totals are still for many of us going to be under an inch, though it looks like we try to get close to some of that inch mark. Many of us are going to be almost about three quarters of an inch or less as far as what those rain gauges are going to show as we get close to harvest season. So of course we're going to be keeping an eye on this wet forecast and it also takes our highs very much into October standards as we're going to be in the mid 60s here for this week. We do rebound with some seasonal conditions for Friday and Saturday. That's also though when we turn on the sun, have a dry forecast, but come Sunday it looks like some rain is going to be hinting back in to mid Michigan. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.